They are chomping through gardens, leaving nasty droppings and destroying seawalls. Frustrated homeowners are at their breaking points. Really, like for bikers, they're a nuisance. I don't like their looks. Now Florida's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is encouraging residents to kill them whenever possible. People used to talk crap to me, like, oh, you think you're so cool? You catch iguanas, like, oh, you think you're so cool. Now everybody wants to be my friend, everybody loves it. So my family and friends thought I was absolutely insane to quit my job as an AC technician to go catch iguanas. And I was at like a, a certain part of my life where, you know, I can continue this job, make the steady paycheck, or I can quit that and pursue my dreams. And here I am today. Right here is basically a three piece fly rod. It's about 15 feet long. It's the best thing to catch iguanas. You want that length, but also you do not want to tire out your hand. Right here, we got some fishing line about a thousand pound test and we have some swivels. Boom. And just like that, we have a perfect circle and you put this around the iguana's body and it pulls shut and you should have them on the end of the line. There's different types of businesses with iguanas. There's iguana removal, the iguana pet trade, and people love the meat. I fit in basically in all three of them. So what you want to do is put, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh no, just put it around them. I advise, you know, you let them get tired before you try grabbing them because they're, they're going to try to bite and scratch you. This is a perfect pet iguana right here. He's not too big, he's not too small. He does have an attitude problem, but if you work with him, he can definitely you know, tame down quite a bit. So this guy is gonna be uh, sold for a pet right here. But seriously, bro, I love my job, bro. Like, gives me independence to do whatever I want. I make my own moves, my own plans. Uh, I get to be out here. This is my office. You know, iguanas, ducks, fish. Fresh air, beautiful Florida sun. I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. The number of iguanas in Florida has soared in recent years, and scientists say climate change could be to blame. The last major extended cold snap was 10 years ago. That cut down on the population, but in the decades since, they've come back with a vengeance. That's created a new business opportunity in Florida for iguana control. So the plan today is to go out. My friend Chris has a quota of 20 iguanas, I believe. I have a guy that wants 20 iguanas. There should definitely be some iguanas out here. It's a hot spot over here. Oh yeah, I already see, I already see them. I was always catching iguanas, even as a kid. Now I'm just like, head first. Iguanas are not good for Florida, but they're good for my business. Let's go. I'm ready. I've been ready since yesterday. <laughs> Peacock Bash, Cristiano. These are just blue collar guys like myself that are going out there catching iguanas and we're all just really having a good time. I've always had a passion for film, photography. You know, I've been inspired by a lot of YouTubers out there because I watch a lot of it. Yeah, buddy. And I was thinking, yeah, hey man, like if they can do it, here. why can't I? Here, just grab this, just hold film. I know, but so that's what I've been doing, and my channel, like it, it's been growing. It's the iguana man. What do you call this? Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. It's like a dream of mine to have a bunch of people watching me, watching what I do. And now that I think I found my niche in life over here in South Florida, I just want to bring as many people along with me to enjoy the experience. Oh, okay, oh, okay, you know the grab. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa! Bro, that one just tried taking my finger off, dog. Something, that one has a serious attitude. 
us guys, like we're not partying no more. We're not yeah. clubbing. This is our new club. It's called Club Iguana. There is a popular demand nowadays of reptiles here in South Florida. A customer will come in with a Instagram post asking for the reptile and not knowing what it is or, or the level of care that they have. As far as one, as people will think that, oh, it's just an animal, it's wild, we, we just let it go, it will live by itself. But they're a type of a, of a pest type of thing here in Florida, they either produce a lot. The pet trade in Florida specifically has been thought to bring in a lot of invasive species. It's probably why the state has so many invasive species compared to other states. It's an issue that I personally have uh, focused on quite a bit. My training is actually uh, as a, a plant physiological ecologist where I started out working um, in invasive species. Probably wouldn't be able to make I don't think I could make a YouTube channel out of studying and researching uh, Japanese honeysuckle. Guys, this is the biggest iguana I've ever seen in my life. One shot to the head. He's so beautiful. YouTube and new technology has created a system in which there are quite a few people who try to make themselves a star out of filming themselves catching these invasive species. What you don't want is a, a hunter to take an invasive species and then just sell it back to the same pet trade program that caused the problem in the first place. Those market forces are not going to eradicate the population. Um, you need a more effective, science-informed management strategy to do so. Florida lawmakers are trying to eliminate invasive iguanas with a new bill. That aims to ban the sale of green iguanas and black and white tegu. Just giving you guys a point of view. We're on top of the truck right now. This is absolutely insane, boys. I think we did it. Everybody played their part in getting this massive amount of iguanas that we have in front of you guys. Iguanas are here forever, unless they maybe chemically bomb the whole Florida. The pet shops, they should have been making it stricter, or making it, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, more qualifications to own one of these reptiles. There, you know, there's a lot more responsibility than you think. And obviously that's why we're in the situation that we are now. I don't think it's gonna really do anything because it's already too late. Yeah. I do think that we are making a small impact on some numbers in some areas. For example, some of the places that we hunt all the time, but overall there's no, there's no, there's no way. There's no way. No. If we catch them and we can do something with them, whether it's having them as pets or even eating them, I think that's the best thing to do. You got people from uh, Honduras, Cuba, Mexico, Guatemala, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana. People grew up eating iguanas and, and were able to provide that for them. It's a South Florida tree chicken right here. So we're gonna wait for it to get like golden brown, I'm guessing? All the invasives that are here now are basically here to stay. I feel like as long as you have positive content and educational content, I feel like that's all that matters. Oh yeah. All good. That right there. Wait, what? Bro, that marinade hit the spot. So there's a piece of the thyme right there. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, perfectly breaded too, crispy. The meat just got a really, really nice flavor. Mm.